Hey, folks. So Ben Shapiro just destroyed an anti-Semite who tried to twist the Talmud's words in making it sound immoral. And Ben's response is perfect. Check it out. Good evening, Mr. Shapiro. You've consistently promoted the idea that America was built on Judeo-Christian values. However, as a devout Christian, I have difficulty accepting the term given Judaism's rejection of Jesus. Christians believe Jesus Christ is God. In contrast, the Talmud, a central Jewish holy book, teaches that Jesus is burning in hellfire and excrement. And while the New Testament tells us to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us, Sovereign 15 of the Talmud states that even the best of the Gentiles should be killed. Given these irreconcilable differences, why do you insist on using this oxymoronic term? Hey, so first of all, that's a really bad read of the Talmud. Second of all, the notion that you can cite any text in support of the idea that Judaism broad writ is somehow disdainful or hateful of Christians or of, or of people who are not Jewish is in fact a, a tremendous misread of Judaism over the centuries and particularly today. I can cite sections in the New Testament that I find personally problematic. I can certainly cite segments in the, in the Quran that I find personally problematic. The truth is I could probably find place in the Old Testament that I find personally problematic. That does not speak to what Judaism is and its historic impact on the world. Judaism is the foundation of Christianity. Jesus himself acknowledged this. The New Testament acknowledges this. The notion that Judaism and Christianity are somehow completely delinked and teach two completely separate lessons ignores the fact that the Old Testament is part and parcel of the New Testament. Sure, Christians and Jews think different things. Of course. Otherwise, I'd be a Christian or you'd be a Jew. If we thought completely the same thing, then presumably we would have the exact same religion. But the notion that Judaism and Christianity are completely delinked is wrong. As far as miscitations from the Talmud, or even citations of texts that are written in the year 500 CE at a time when Jews were being persecuted by Christians in the Roman Empire, that seems to me a, a real stretch to get to the idea that Jews today are overall hateful of Christians. I'm not sure that there's anybody in America, personally speaking, who has pushed more people back to church than me. I really don't know that there is anybody who's done that. I tell Christians literally all the time to go to church. I tell Christians all the time to re-engage with their faith. I think it is deeply, deeply important that they do. I don't try to convert people to Judaism because that's actually forbidden in Jewish law. I'm not supposed to convert people to Judaism. So I know there's a group of people who spend all day online cherry-picking bad lines from the Talmud, a text that they have no familiarity with, and then trying to spin that into a giant myth about how Jews are seeking the extermination of Christians or some other bizarre conspiracy theory. It's a lie, it's stupid, and the Judeo-Christian values of the nation are quite real because, once again, Judaism and Christianity have an awful lot in common. Uh, brilliant job by Ben Shapiro, and again, I think that he stresses the most important thing, that number one, it's a mistranslation, mis miscitation. Uh, they, there's no context there. Essentially, there are a lot of lines in the Talmud, which is a commentary on the Torah, like a, a very uh, in-depth commentary where a bunch of rabbis got together and said a bunch of things. Um, and a lot of those things don't necessarily mean what they actually say. So the actual translation isn't necessarily the, the meaning. And you see that all over the place. It's basically a book of arguments. And Ben Shapiro, you know, rightly points out that a, you know, random line from the Talmud provided with no context, not even understanding what they're talking about, doesn't represent the entire Jewish faith um, and the entire Torah. Uh, and, and not only is it just, just like a line, it's like it's not even uh, that that it was an accepted line. It was just a rabbi said, let's say. Um, anyway, great job by Ben Shapiro. For more, subscribe to this channel. If you want to help us make more of these videos, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash Jewish Uncensored.